die, Mr. Bennett, which may in fact be very soon. Our girls will be left without a roof over their head, nor a penny to their name. Oh, my dear, you've ordered a good dinner today. I have reason to expect an addition to our family party. His name is Mr. Collins. He's the dreaded cousin. Who is to inherit, indeed, everything, apparently. Even my piano store belongs to Mr. Collins. When? He may turn us out of the house as soon as he pleases. But why? Because the estate passes directly to him and not to us poor females. Mr. Collins, at your service. How good of you to come. So which of the painted peacocks is our Mr. Bingham? Well, he's on the right, and on the left is his sister. And the person with the quizzical brow? That is his good friend, Mr. Darcy. <gasps> It's miserable, poor soul. Miserable he may be, but poor he most certainly is not. Tell me. Ten thousand a year, and he earns half of Derbyshire. The miserable half. Count your blessings, Lizzie. If he liked you, you'd have to talk to him. Precisely. Did I just go to dance with Mr. Darcy? I dare say you will find him very amiable, Lizzie. It would be most inconvenient since I just want to know him for all eternity. Mr. Darcy? What are you doing here? Lizzie, what on earth is going on? It's understanding. Lizzie? For once of your life, leave me alone! What on earth have you done to poor Mr. Darcy? You really care to know? Prepare yourself for something very dreadful. <laughs> 